to that incident in West Palm Beach, Florida, where Donald Trump is safe. And authorities say someone is in custody after shots were fired at Trump's golf course while the former president was playing. Chief investigative reporter Jonathan Deans joins us now with the latest. And Jonathan, we know details are still coming in, but you're hearing from sources that a gun was recovered. What else can you tell us? That's right. The FBI says this does appear to have been a plot to try to assassinate former President Trump. Lone actor, but all of this is still preliminary information as the investigation very much underway by the FBI, Secret Service, and Florida police. It was before 2 p.m. this afternoon. Donald Trump was on the golf course at Trump International in West Palm. A Secret Service advance team noticed a man in the tree line, quite a distance ahead from where the president was playing. They noticed he had an assault-style rifle. Secret Service agents opened fire. It is still unclear if the man got any shots off at the Secret Service agents. The president was rushed to safety. Secret Service and police pursued the man along I-95, and he is now in custody. No identification as of now of that man, but an assault weapon, a GoPro camera, and ammunition recovered. Donald Trump sent out a social media post this afternoon saying, there were gunshots in my vicinity, but before rumors start spiraling out of control, I wanted you to hear this first. I am safe and well. Law enforcement held a briefing on the incident a short time ago. Prosecutors are currently working up warrants and a motion for pretrial detention for the suspect. Uh, in that way, he will be kept in custody. But our filing of these warrants and charges at the state level does not preclude federal charges that could be coming. But in the meantime, it looks like the, uh, the warrants and the pretrial detention motion will happen first. This would be the second assassination attempt on Trump, the first coming back in July in Butler, Pennsylvania. Trump was hit in the right ear when gunman Thomas Matthew Crooks opened fire with a rifle from a nearby rooftop while Trump was speaking at a rally. Crooks, the gunman, was later killed by a Secret Service sniper. That incident considered a major security failure by the Secret Service. In this case, a Secret Service agent walking a hole ahead of the president saw the suspect and the Secret Service opened fire on him. The suspect fled to I-95 where a bystander got a picture of his car and license plate. And that's how police were able to catch up with the suspect a short time later. He is now in custody. President Trump is safe and back at Mar-a-Lago, we are told. Democrat Kamala Harris issued a statement saying, I am glad he is safe. Violence has no place in America. South Carolina Republican Lindsey Graham says he spoke with former President Trump and that Trump is in good spirits. The investigation into the suspect, where he got the weapon, and why he allegedly tried to plot to target former President Trump all under investigation. Again, former President Trump rushed to safety this afternoon after the Secret Service opened fire on a gunman hiding in a tree line at the West Palm Beach golf course where Trump was playing. The suspect fled in a car but was later captured. Trump says he is safe. Back to you.